He made history in coming here, but in his Cuba trip's keynote speech, President Obama declared it's time to put history in its place. I have come here to bury the last remnant of the Cold War in the Americas. In remarks watched live across Cuba, Obama acknowledged a painful past of exploitation but and Cold War tension, but said by opening up, the island can have a bright future because of its resourceful it people. In the United States, we have a clear monument to what the Cuban people can build. It's called Miami. He called for an end to the U.S. embargo, but with Raul Castro watching from the audience, he also called on Cuba's leaders to permit more dissent. Given your commitment to Cuba's sovereignty and self-determination, I am also confident that you need not fear the different voices of the Cuban people and their capacity to speak and assemble and vote for their leaders. Indeed, the president says one of the key reasons he came here to Cuba was to stand up for free expression. Despite his acknowledgment, the Castro government has yet to respond to the reopening of ties with major concessions. So Obama made a point of meeting with a half dozen prominent dissidents. They included the leader of the group Ladies in White, who was, as is often the case during their Sunday marches, hauled away by police. Well, I'm just going to make brief remarks here. Meeting them at the U.S. Embassy, Obama told reporters, sense. activists like these have shown extraordinary courage. They have spoken out on behalf of uh, the issues that they care deeply about. But while much still divides America and Cuba, one passion unites them like nothing else, baseball. After his visit, Obama took in an exhibition game, the first here in 17 years, between the Tampa Bay Rays and Cuba's national team. Joining Raul Castro in the seats behind home plate, another first in a trip filled with them. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Havana.